Kelly's texting me right now. Hello? Alright, I'm vlogging right now. <laughs> Alright, so you call me when you're like getting close, like downtown or something. Alright. Alright, y'all, so I am on my way to the uh, pet emergency right now. Um, it's not really like that much of an emergency. I don't even know if y'all can see me, but um, let me get into the slow lane with some lights <laughs> and it's merging. But um, yeah, it's basically like after hours. I, I think I was explaining to you guys before Kelly called. Um, we called the place that we like to go to, you know, that we've been to before. And they said, um, well, we're all booked today and uh tomorrow so you can bring her in saturday but they didn't really recommend that because you know it's just gonna get worse it said so you can come in after like six o'clock and then it'll be like after hours and you'll have to pay like a fee since it's like after hours but they'll be able to see her today and so that's what we're gonna do it's like you know fuck it just pay pay whatever you know the fee is so she could at least get help hopefully they don't have to pull the teeth the tooth out because i was reading online about how uh since she's still a puppy like you know her teeth are going to be falling out so i'm hoping maybe they just give her like some antibiotics and then just let the antibiotics kind of clear up any infection and hopefully hopefully like in a week or two her tooth will fall out and the new one will grow um that's best case scenario um, worst case scenario obviously is that they have to do surgery and like remove the tooth because you know that ain't gonna be cheap but you know when owning animals that's pretty much you know how it goes something happens you know you get you can't neglect them you got to take care of them so hopefully uh, it's just a simple thing like that but uh, we'll see What's up y'all so um we got back from the vet a little while ago and um i guess it was a lot more worse than we initially thought and um they suggested that we put goldie down and so she she had to be put down didn't as, know that. Didn't. as you can see, they suggest she get plenty of rest. <laughs> she's down. She's dead. Dead to the world as far as being up and running around goes. Mm. But so is this fool right here. But anyway, um, so we went and basically they said what I thought they were gonna say, which is um, they can pull the tooth out, but they said. Well, obviously, their first thing was like, yeah, let's pull yeah, it Yeah, let's pull it out for $1,100. And then it was like that. And then, um, well, since she's getting uh, her tooth pulled, might as well get her fixed, too. And since we're doing that, uh, German Shepherds, sometimes their stomachs flip over and they die. So we, we can do a procedure where we, like, sew so like, the stomach, so the stomach. To the wall of her skin. like Yeah, so that way it doesn't... Uh, that's weird to me. I mean, I understand, like, I, and I've I, heard it before, like dogs the flipping. flip over, but, but it's pretty rare. I odds? think, like, I don't know, what are the odds? Yeah, so I think I'll um, take that risk because that just sounds unnatural to just have your stomachs like yeah. sewn to your skin. And so, um, so basically, they gave us some anti-inflammatory, and and they're all saying like 
because she got looked at by like three different people like when we first got there then the nurse then a doctor and um and they're pretty much saying it's a baby tooth like it's chipped um so let's you know give it a little like a week week and a half but it doesn't even look like it's to the root like you know whenever you're a kid and you pull your tooth out and there's like the root and it's like dark bloody you can see like it didn't even look bloody or anything it just looks brown like it's chipped but it didn't hit the nerve in the root yet so i don't know so we gave I think her she i think she's fine because she's playing around she, yeah she so. didn't really act too crazy or like uh, not her usual self like she's still running around i did notice when she was playing with rio she wasn't as mouthy with them but uh, but then she started chewing on her little toy that I gave her and it's like a soft little toy it's not hard and she likes to run around with it and she was like running full speed through the house but we gave her her recommended or well not recommended her required amount of medicam and that's the medication like anti-inflammatory and it does look like it went down there was a little bit of swelling yeah it, it went down significantly to me because it looked like she had kind of like a lump growing kind of like weird like rounded muzzle so um i think i think she'll be fine we're gonna see if the tooth falls out because she literally lost like two teeth already yeah and so they were saying like get it pulled four out months 400 500 dollars is around the time when uh like they start losing their teeth and especially their canines they said are the first to go but she already she already lost one bottom and one top so i don't so know we'll i think we're gonna yeah. i mean eventually like if we need to if you know it gets bad then obviously you know we'll do what we have to do but i think they're all suggesting what i was looking online too it said kind of since it's a since she's a puppy see if that tooth will fall out yeah and i'd be damned if we sit up there and pay like 500 dollars and her tooth fucking falls out the next day or her other tooth falls out the next day i'd be <laughs> whoo i'd be heated so yeah we're not gonna we're not gonna do that or if we pay for it and they're like oh yeah we put her under and um come to find out the tooth was already loose so we just kind of took it out with our fingers we just pulled it right out <laughs> so that'll be 500 dollars because we did it we still technically extracted the tooth mm. like no i'm not playing that so we'll see we'll see what happens yeah so um i think that's pretty much the end of this little vlog but should uh, be a pretty short one only a couple minutes but we it, this the weather is getting warmer so we're gonna be doing more vlogging because like we've been saying it's kind of hard to vlog we're not really daily vloggers who vlog every single day because you know we're just doing our thing i'm but. sorry but i'd get tired of my damn self if i was a daily vlogger like i mean if i had a lot going on i think i i think whenever you have kids in your vlogs and stuff like that it's a lot easier because you got a lot going on but it's just the two of us and we kind of have a routine yeah and we don't have anyone to really keep busy like we don't have kids to keep busy and let's do stuff to you know entertain them but uh, it's just the two of us and we work come home and enjoy each other's company but if you'd like for us to vlog um inside the house which <laughs> you know i don't know I, I i much rather you guys see us doing something outside of the house but if you'd want to see something like that give this video a thumbs up like and subscribe please to your favorite Sacramento vloggers. Peace.